These are the cycles of love, Act One. I knew the first time I saw him that this was it. He was the one I wanted to be with. This was it. I actually asked him out and he said yes. He invited me over to his house and we absolutely had the best night. The best night. But I can't seem to get in touch with him to find out if he's really interested. I live in this really small town. There are like 20 girls here, seriously. I mean, there aren't many options. I don't know what is next for me. Maybe college, maybe I'll stay here and get a job. And this girl seems like a sure thing. I mean, we both know it's not forever. What else am I supposed to do? We've been hanging out for exactly two months and three weeks this Sunday. He's distant, but I feel like it's moving forward. Everyone says it's not going to work, but they don't know him like I do. I was pretty sure that we both agreed that this was not forever, but I'm getting the vibe that she wants more from me than I can give. I gotta get out of this town, and I know I don't want her to go with me. I mean, she's a really nice girl, but I need to find my own life. You keep on keeping me crazy in this single stop of that town. Act 2. I knew the first time I saw her that she was the one. I know that we're both young. My parents tell me that I'll meet more girls in college and in my 20s, but I feel this in my heart. I really care about this girl. Anyway, what do they know? I mean, they're like divorced. I've been with this guy for almost a year, and it started off so incredible, so intense. And I'm not sure what happened. He gets moody and mean. I think I love him, but I'm not sure I like him a lot of the time. He's the one who seems to want this relationship to end, but instead of breaking up with me, he's pushing me away, using a bunch of excuses. I don't want to, but I think I have to end it. I don't want to change, neither do you. Act 3. We knew the first time we saw each other... Mm -hmm. that, that we would be together forever. <laughs> He's so handsome oh, and so passionate about music and everyone likes him. Uh, during our first conversation, I swear I thought I was dreaming. And she's so like easygoing <laughs> and such a free spirit. We really just get along. I mean, mm -hmm. we both like to travel uh, mm -hmm. and a bunch of other things. Honestly, I can't imagine ever being apart. Aww. It's been like eight months. Lately, things have not been feeling like I thought they would at this stage in the game. Honestly, I'm getting older, and it seems that everyone around me is getting married and having kids. They have found their soulmate or whatever. Each day that passes, I feel more and more like she is not mine. I can't help but think I deserve something better. This has been the hardest summer of my life. Yet again, I had to be the one who walked away from the relationship. But I knew that's what he wanted. I did it because I love him and I want him to be happy, and that has crushed me. It's hard to get out of bed most days, and I don't know if I'm ever going to feel okay again. Oh, you've always known that I want more. Act 4 I am convinced that she is the one. Our families have been friends for years. And although my father was skeptical at first, we totally won him over. We basically grew up together, but I went to school in England for most of my 20s, and now I'm back. Our relationship makes so much sense. We're both professionals, our careers are in order and on track, and we absolutely love spending time together, you know, vacationing and exploring. And? Guess what? We're, We're getting, getting married, married next, next summer. summer. Well, happily ever after, right? Unfortunately not. We ended up having some problems with our marriage, uh, and I moved out. Like Louis C.K. says, no good marriage ends in divorce. I still feel sad about how it ended. I think about him from time to time. I hope that he's doing well. Maybe I should call. The divorce was the best thing for us. It gave me a whole new perspective on my life and happiness. Also, let's consider the numbers. In the U.S., 50% of couples end up getting a divorce and 67% of couples who then get remarried 
end up getting a divorce. That's a bad trend. So I don't think I'm going to press my luck. This is the best party ever. Oh, hi. 